to Andhra Pradesh. Prohibitory orders have been imposed in Vinukonda town of Andhra Pradesh's Palnadu district after a shocking and brutal murder of a 25-year-old was caught in full public view. Uma Sudhir has been tracking the finer details and the latest developments for us. She joins us live at the moment. Uma, this gory attack was caught in the middle of moving traffic at 8.30 p.m. last evening. It was caught on camera, but no one seemed to have tried to stop it. Extremely shocking, those visuals that have caught on camera. The fact that, uh, you know, in the middle of the road at about 8.30 in the night uh, yesterday is when uh, this young man, uh, who we are told was working, in fact, at a liquor uh, shop there, he was uh, pulled out and he was, uh, uh, you know, using a weapon. This uh, assaulter is uh, ruthlessly be, uh, attacking him repeatedly and he chops off his hands as well and then uh, goes for his neck and multiple uh, injuries that the other person has suffered and there is uh, people traffic movement around and uh, it, it looks like nobody uh, was quick enough to react but they uh, but the fact that it has been caught on camera means that somebody was shooting when all this was happening and that's the reason why the visuals have now uh, gone public and uh, gone viral as well but uh, this has sent shock waves uh, in this area and uh, earlier the YSRCP has been alleging that this uh, person who has died the victim uh, was the YSRCP youth wing uh, person uh, Rashid and uh, that uh, this is an attack by a TDP supporter on him. Uh, while uh, this is a very politically sensitive area and even prior to elections we saw violence and violence had continued even post elections and even post the results there have been multiple incidents of political uh, rivalry and violence but I must point out that the district uh, SP Kanchi Srinivas Rao has clarified that as of now investigation shows that this could have been uh, because of interpersonal rivalry and not a politically motivated attack on this Rashid and that's the reason why prohibitory orders under section 144 have been imposed in the area and everyone has been given a very uh, strong warning saying that uh, any instigation towards violence will be dealt with uh, in a very stringent manner and therefore nothing of that sort is going to be tolerated by the police uh, this particular incident they are saying they are still investigating about the details of uh, what really happened because of which uh, such a brutal attack has taken place. Back to you.